We just got a massive update for Inazuma 11 Great Road of Heroes, now known as Inazuma 11 Victory Road. And with this massive update came a ton of new characters. So I thought I'd take a look at every character, every major brand new character revealed for Inazuma 11 Victory Road so far, and just talk about them. My personal opinions on them, my theories for them, my speculation for them, what we know already, what we can infer, and just take a look at generally these characters and what they could be like. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first character of note is obviously the main character. Sas Anami Unmei. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, that's a Japanese name. It means lightning is born from clouds. Which is pretty cool. It's generally, I guess you can see it as like a metaphor. Like, similar to how Raimon is lightning. It's like inferring he's going to make a team as cool and epic as Raimon. Which is pretty cool. He's a manager who doesn't play football because of a traumatic experience in his youth, which is pretty cool. And not that he got a traumatic experience, more just like that he's a manager. It's me a bit different. Trauma isn't fun. He's at this brand new school and he's building his new team. He is assembling this team of, of new original characters and creating this incredible brand new team, which is going to be the main team you use in the main story mode of Victory Road. So he's pretty self-explanatory. He's a manager. Obviously, we don't need to worry about his position, his element, anything like that. But it, out of curiosity, if he was to be a player, I guess he looks like a midfielder, an air midfielder. What am I basing that off? No idea, but sure. But then what's more interesting is if we take a look at the poster of this and we look at the five players in the background. Now, because of generally what we know about this game now, that we are a manager and it's a new original cast, we're getting players, I think all these five players, it's quite easy to assume, are all going to be players. They're going to be players probably we get on our team, maybe excluding one guy who we'll get into in a bit. But let's start from left to right. So let's start with this first guy. This first guy, I'm just going to call Hair Man, because he is like the, the cool the cool haircut that I can't quite understand or wrap my head around, and I have no idea how to describe it. He's in a lot of these pictures, um, as you can see from, from this set of pictures of the characters in the art. He is in a lot of these alongside Unmei, and I think the one that really strikes me is the one where he's like holding his shoulder, also the one where Unmei is like crying into him, and obviously the fact that Unmei is directing him with, with formations and stuff. He's almost certainly a striker, or less like a player. He's, I mean, he's definitely a player. He seems like he's going to be a striker. He has that kind of face, or like facial expression. He looks like he could potentially be the kind of Axel Blaze, high as Aki role in this story. That's my guess. Within Azuma 11, one thing you've got to remember is there are a lot of character stereotypes. Not necessarily stereotypes, but archetypes is a better word for it. There's a lot of character archetypes. Every set of characters has their own version of several tropes, has their own Mark, has their own Axel, has their own Jude, has their own Jack, so on and so forth. And that's kind of what we're going to look at in today's video. As well, we're going to take a look at what these characters, like what versions of past characters could they be. And for me, this is almost certainly the Axel. I can see him being a bit more aggressive of an Axel, a bit of a different dynamic, which I'm looking forward to. But this, to me, is it's definitely the, the resident ace striker, the kind of scary, aggressive, intimidating one, 100%. I mean, look at his chains. Those are sick chains. Those are sick, sick, sick chains. Next to him is this fella. This fella isn't in any of the um, additional artwork, but just genuinely going purely off a design standpoint, he's probably a defender, and he's probably fulfilling the Jack stereotype is my guess, uh, just purely based off this random silhouette. Sure, let's slap him in there. I don't know. He, he's like possibly, this is, I mean, it's just, it's just a, a, a silhouette in it. There's not a whole lot to go off here. But my guess is he's going to be like an Earth Defender. Ten bucks says he has the wall in his moveset. I can see something like that. I don't know why he looks like quite smart to me. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he's like a bit of a nerd. That's just my random, like, assumption. Next to him, in between Unmei's legs, we have this short person. They're very, very short. And um, they kind of give me Scotty Banyan vibes because they're so short. Also, their uniform is tiny. Oh my god. But, a uh, random guess, Defender. Why? They're literally two foot tall. Just because generally, for some reason, Azuma 11 loves putting short characters as Defenders for reasons I can't quite comprehend. My guess is maybe they feel like a JP-type void. 
potentially. I don't know. They're a very small character. Could see them being uh, maybe like comedic relief, potentially. Let's go with an F um, defender. That's my guess. Maybe a fire defender at a push. Who knows? Then we move on to this character. This character we already have a full video about. And that is going to be seen on probably the end slate. You'll see that video. It is That was five theories to do with this character because they were revealed in a prior tweet. And we can see them in some of the additional artwork. We can see the design in more detail. The colors, they have the like three kind of, I said foxy type um, spikes. And in that video, I theorized they're potentially a rival manager. And I think they're definitely a player now, but I'm also going to stick with that whole rival idea. I think they may be the player who is potentially on a rival team. I could see them maybe being on our team leaving or joining our team partway through, something like that. Potentially a Jude type archetype. And maybe in terms of position, midfielder slash forward, I'm only I'm opting for midfielder because I think it's a bold strategy to show us both strikers. But I guess if he joins partway through, he could be like an additional third striker, kind of like Hayzaki in that sense. But no, I definitely um, think this guy is is a really cool design, slightly terrifying. And if you want to see more of my thoughts on him, go check out that video. But based off the information we know now, I mean, for some reason, he looks like he has a cape now, which I guess is... Actually, I think that's just his hair. Okay, but I mean, a cape would be cooler. But no, I definitely think... I will place my bet now. He's a rival stri uh, like striker who plays for an opposing team who joins us halfway... Like, it's a part way through the story. Placing my bet, that's almost certainly what he is. And then the final new character is this girl. I think she's a girl. I think. Don't have a whole... I mean, just generally the design, maybe? It's... Come on, Inazuma 11. You can do it. I believe in you. I, I believe. Please. But I think she's a girl. Probably. Potentially. She, uh, we can see her, like the back of her in this artwork, which definitely tells me she's a player who plays for the team. She has long grey hair, very much like the look of her design is what we've seen so far. Probably a midfielder I'm going to go with, maybe like a, a Nathan type in a way. Like maybe an air midfielder I could see. I know I'm, I know I'm saying a Nathan type. I don't mean a Nathan type in terms of like a, def uh, like a best friend type character. Could see her being quite close to Unmei, like a nice person, like a generally kind soul. Obviously, we don't have too much to work off just off the back. But no, I'm going to go with like an air midfielder, like a kind person, a, like a good companion. But let me know down below what you guys think about this. I want to know your thoughts on each of the characters, what you think um, their roles are going to be in the story, what positions they're going to be. If potentially you'd want to use any of them on your team, let me know down below. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, because it seems like we're going to get more Victory Road news coming soon at some point this year so if you want to make sure you are kept up to date on exactly when that is and exactly what that is make sure you subscribe to the channel to be the first to know and i'll see you guys in the next one bye